Good morning, everyone. Now, here we have a FANUC board, and its model number is A16B-1010-0150. Slash zero seven A. The COM port, the RS232 COM port is not working. Now, M5 20 pin Honda connector here is the RS232 COM port. Right here is a 1488, an MC1488, and an MC1489. The 1488 is the line driver and the 1489 is the line receiver. And I'm going to find ground and put my red lead on ground and we're going to test for short circuits. I need to get a battery for my meter. I'm almost out of battery. Let's do the 1488 first. There's pin one. That's not shorted. I got 1.049 volt diode drop. Here's pin 2, 0.448. Pin 3, 1.032. Pin 4, 0.582. Pin 5, 0.358. Pin 6, 1.0. 069 and here's ground on pin 7 pin 8 1 1.071 9.586 10.357 11 1.063 12 1.567 13 1.570 and 14.711 not bad there let's check the MC1489 here's pin 1 oh <laughs> look at that there's why our COM port's not working we have a short 0 .044 on pin 1 of the MC1489 no need to go any farther <laughs> One short makes the whole IC bad. Now, I'm going to replace these, and that'll fix that COM port. Let's go ahead and take our side cutters. The easiest way to get these off the board is just to take your side cutters cut the pins. It's shorted. We can't fix it. So there's no need to preserve that IC. So cutting the pins will free it up from the board much easier. Less likely to tear up traces when we try to remove that board. That I see from that board. Make a little bit of room here. Bring our soldering iron into play. Tweezers. up that pin and lift it off the board with your tweezers.
going there? Flip the board to the other side so I can get the VCC and ground. How to install the IC socket. A little 14 pin IC socket right here. Solder that down. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and replace this 1488 also. Just to be safe. What happened was the COM port got hit by lightning. So <laughs> I don't want to send this back and have that 1488 not working also. Let me flip that board over and I'll get that one IC socketed. Takes care of that one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now I'll do the same thing for the 1488, and this board will be done. <laughs> I wish everything was that easy. Every now and then, this old man gets thrown a bone. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. You don't need to watch me do that second IC. It's the same as the first, just different part number. Thanks very much for stopping by and seeing what I'm working on today. We'll see you next time. Here we have the shorted MC1489 line receiver. And I'm gonna put my red lead on the ground And there's pin one, look at that. Whoops, slipped off. There's that short circuit on pin one, 0 0.046. That's a short circuit. Keeps slipping off ground. Get on there. Let's go to pin two. That pin two is also shorted, 0 0.025. Here's pin three. That's not bad, 0.626. The output's not shorted, but the inputs are. There's pin four. That's not bad. 2.244, that's not shorted. Pin five, 0.906. And pin six, the output. Get on there. Not bad, 0.623. So. We have one shorted line receiver. The second looked okay. Let me get on ground here. It's hard to 
Hard to hold on those cut pins. There's the output of the third one. That looks okay, 0 0.622. There's pin 9, 0.717. There's pin 10, 2.067. Here's the output of the last line receiver in that IC, 0 0.626, 0 0.715 on pin 12, and the, here's 13. I cut that one real close. Get on there. Might not be able to read that one. The pin, I cut the pin totally out. There it is. 2.156, that's not bad. Now let's check VCC to ground. VCC is 14. That don't look good. That should be higher. VCC to ground is 0.236. And I see, got hit by lightning. I see got hit by lightning. <laughs> There's not a whole lot that survives a lightning strike. There we go. We got two new ICs in that FANUC board. MC1489 and MC1488. You'll also see these as part numbers SN75189 and SN75188. Functionally, they are the same IC.